I'm going to be doing my weekly energy update. Pull one for the overall message for right now. Okay, we have ask for help, it says. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. What do we need to know? Today, August 14th, 2019. What do we need to know right now? The Empress. I love this. So I'm hearing right away patience. Um, I'm also hearing like just like self-care. Um, a lot of self-love. Like nurturing yourself. This is also could be like... I'm hearing like mother wounding and like um, that coming up. So like healing our feminine energy. Um, being receptive manifesting yes because it's three so you might be seeing like 111 a lot um and i'm feeling this especially with the full moon that's approaching um tomorrow so yeah really being in your being in your feminine energy right at 11 11 or 111 i said that <laughs> so i love that what else do we need to know about the empress okay yes nine of wands so this is about like endurance like don't give up like okay so what i'm getting is like you're working on manifesting something like a dream of yours a relationship a job a career whatever it is money um and it's requiring you to have patience and it's also testing you like this is about perseverance um that like feeling you're feeling very tired but to keep going don't give up is what i hear okay what are we not seeing clearly all right yes there's some anxiety there's some fear some sleepless nights like i'm getting this is like a worry over a manifestation so um which actually <laughs> pushes your en energy um away from the thing you're desiring so to become to get in alignment and to really ground yourself to nature like the empress there she's like surrounded by nature surrounded by water surrounded by trees to really ground yourself as a way to also help you to rest and replenish your energy so you're so you're not feeling exhausted um so that you can keep going forward um and yeah this is about like insomnia or like nightmares so you could have trouble sleeping like you're worried over something um what else is this about what are we not seeing clearly with this anxiety Okay, yeah, three of cups. I also like the three again, the 111 up there again, so that might be a message. Um, but what I'm getting is, like, uh, what we're not seeing clearly is that we're actually attracting joy, that joy is what's coming to us, that we're, like, I'm getting this energy of, like, back and forth. Like, one second you might feel very excited and might be, like, feeling very, like, celebratory, <laughs> and the next minute might be feeling anxious and worried and not understanding how, like, your how that's the whole purpose it's like we're not supposed to know the how especially being in the feminine energy it's supposed to be like a um, energy of excitement and wonder um and so being in that energy instead of like this energy of like everything's gonna go wrong like i'm feeling very fearful also what i'm getting because it had asked for that help and like asked for support is to feel this energy of support within yourself and this doesn't have to just necessarily come from support from anything externally what it comes from is that energy that feeling of support within yourself that you access when you're in your creative energy when you're in your feminine energy and that's when you replenish yourself and you refuel yourself and you feel this endless supply so you're able to keep manifesting you're, you're able to keep moving forward and you're able to do it with ease because you're in your feminine energy instead of like when you're in your masculine energy with this like an overthinking and over analyzing and like just being too caught up in the mind it's like focus on joy celebrate the little things celebrate the little vic victories like um that's actually what's gonna bring you more more joy so what is your advice for us right now okay the tower so let things fall away the things that aren't serving you whatever isn't working let it fall away don't hold on to it out of like fear which we had um but let it go and know that what is coming is joyful is will bring you happiness will bring you contentment but right now it's like um you got to kind of like let let the foundation crumble um, and allow yourself to ask for support um, and to allow yourself to feel supported. And that's also the man, the empress I'm seeing the word appreciation. So really being in the energy of gratitude, knowing that these things that are falling away from you, even though they're comfortable, even though they're familiar, even though they're what you're what you know, like they're not serving you anymore. So it's OK to let them go and to like be in the energy of um happiness that these things are happening for your highest good even if they seem chaotic on the outside what else is your advice with the tower yeah with this is bringing justice so things will balance out like balance will be restored but you have to let go of these things that aren't serving you in order for them to be restored is what i'm getting um this could rep represent libra 
um, or like just air energy. So yeah, I'm just getting this energy of like clarity, like through this breakthrough from the tower moment, because that's what tower moments are about. They can seem like catastrophic or they can seem like abrupt or sudden, but really they're like, they're restoring balance. So it's like div divine intervention is the word I hear. And then yes, this makes so much sense. Underneath the deck is the moon and we do have a full moon tomorrow. This is revealing our fears to me around love, our fears around support, our fears around like money and stability. And these are all being illuminated right now. So um, notice how your emotions, like what emotions are coming up for you. Like, is it abandonment? Is it lack? Is it scarcity? Like what are the wounds that are being highlighted right now? What are the emotions that you're feeling right now that are making you feel a little bit frightened, a little bit scared and addressing them? Because they're revealing to you um, what your blockage is to your manifestation. So you can open up to that. And then under that was the world. So like, yeah, you will complete a cycle. Things will balance out. All right. What, what do we need to know about the Empress here? The thinking man. Um, so this is like, this could be related to a man that's like contemplating, but this is generally a man that's like, thoughtful and con considerate and like uh neutral like i'm getting like there's no need to like um be concerned so thinking me what else okay cornucopia yes like this is what i was feeling with the empress is like your dreams are coming true like everything is coming to you this is also an 11 card so that's beautiful like your wishes are being fulfilled is what i'm getting um that you can be in this energy of like cornucopia of like being blessed of feeling grateful for all this even if you don't have this yet the whole point of law of attraction is to be grateful for the things that you don't have yet so you have to appreciate the life you want without having it first <laughs> in order to attract it into your energy field okay what else are we not seeing clearly patience in reverse yeah so like a new direction is needed or like things are being redirected is what i'm getting um what else are we not seeing clearly with that Okay, yes, caring connections. Um, so things are being like redirected, I get from this, from, from relationships that are, that may be like causing you a lot of anxiety or a lot of fear to like maybe a relationship that is like more playful and joyful and exciting and more in alignment to what you truly desire. What is your advice? Door to romance is blocked right now during this tower moment, which totally seems fine like to me is like the door to romance is going to be blocked until this tower moment happens until something breaks down until something is balanced out until justice is brought to a situation yes adjacent possibilities is the advice so thing there's so many different doors so many different um things can open up for you especially as this tower moment happens there will be so many different shifts so each choice will lead to a different door then yeah we had appreciation um in reverse and rest and rejuvenation in reverse which both came up so it's like um allowing yourself to rest so you can come back to the moment appreciate the moment appreciate what's happening so you're not getting caught up in the fear of the tower moment and like like um blocking yourself from receiving is what i'm getting okay what do we need to know about right now cornucopia spring so um i think feel like things are blossoming they're just taking a little bit of time that's why it's important to be patient with also there the spring healing healed heal he, healer <laughs> so yeah things are healing right now that's what i'm getting there um what are we not seeing clearly affirmations yes so every time you feel a little bit anxious a little bit scared a little bit nervous to switch your thoughts it says to li lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire use positive affirmations yeah instead of like this is never going to happen i never get what i want like i am supported i am loved i am nurtured i am cared for what else yeah, whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. So letting go of old past hurts, maybe to old relationships, to our mothers, to our fathers, to our friends, like to the people that hurt you. Um, what was your advice? Yes, your desire is within reach, so there's no need to worry. Have faith as everything is working out in your favor. Yes, it's important to believe that, especially when it comes to love, it seems like. What else? Yes, get some exercise. As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So it's like, yeah, like, and you feel stronger, like, even if things are happening without, outside of you, outside of your control, let's get one more for each. You've got the power. Yes. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. I like that with the nine of, okay, what else? Interesting marriage. That might be a message for you. In pregnancy, the birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. And I was feeling fertility with 
with the empress there. So I hope this is helpful. Have a wonderful week.